The radiator of a steam heating system has a volume of 15 liters and is filled with superheated water vapor at 300 kilopascals and 200 degrees Celsius. If both the inlet and the exit valves to the radiator are closed and the temperature of the steam drops to 45 degrees Celsius as the result of heat transfer to the room air, what is the entropy change of the steam during this process? As usual, try pausing here to solve this problem yourself before watching the solution. This is the first example for the Entropy as a Thermodynamics Property main lecture. The link to that 12-minute lecture and all the other examples and lectures of the Thermodynamics course are found in the description below. Since our working fluid is water, or steam, the change in entropy for this cooling down process will be equal to the mass times the change in specific enthalpy S2 minus S1. Now, state 1 is fully defined. Since we're gonna need the mass for this, and we have the volume of steam, we can just look up the specific volume at state 1 to calculate the mass. So we go to the saturated vapor tables to find V1, and while we're at it, we can write down the specific entropy for state 1 as well. Now for the entropy value for state 2, we need to know one more thing besides the given temperature of the steam. And since neither the volume nor the mass will change because it's trapped between the valves, the specific volume of state 2 is the same as the specific volume at state 1. At 45 degrees Celsius, which is state 2, from our saturated tables, we see that the specific volume V2 is above the saturated liquid specific volume and below the saturated vapor specific volume. This means that our fluid is in a saturated mixture state. Therefore, we need to calculate the quality so that we can calculate the specific entropy at state 2, S2. Since we do have the specific volume at state 2, we use it in combination with VF and VG to find that the quality is 0.046913. And with this quality value, since we know that it can be used with the entropy, we calculate S2 as SF plus X2 times SFG. We write down the values for SF and SFG, substitute the values, and we find that S2 is 1.019363. With this, we can substitute all values into our change of entropy expression and find that the total change in entropy is minus 0 0.13177 kilojoules per Kelvin. This shows what we briefly mentioned in the main lecture. Even though for irreversible real processes there will always be entropy generation, that doesn't mean that the change in entropy cannot be negative. And in this case it is, it is negative. It makes sense that if heat is leaving the system, the entropy is decreasing. If you want to check out other examples for the entropy as a thermodynamics property topic, make sure to check out the links I left down in the description below, where you'll also find the links to the other lectures of the thermodynamics course as well as other engineering courses. Thanks for watching.